right, so we're in 10 seconds. We're live, ma'am. So, Christian, ikaw na magsimula ng ating introduction, ha? Talaga, hindi ko mahanap saan ang link natin oh, so ulit bigla. I think we're live. We're live now, guys. All right, I so, so yan. Here. So, we're live na po, ma'am. Excited yeah, namin. Ben. Excited namin sa discussion tonight. Oo nga eh. Para kadami tayo... Lang po, na, kadami ano? lang po natin, ma'am, yung, ano, yung ating viewers. Okay. Ayan. Yes, so, hi everyone. We would like to invite you to attend our Psych Chikahan. It's the first Psych Chikahan here in Filipino Psychometricians page. So we will be starting in a while. We have ano na, 24 viewers as of the moment. Maraming salamat sa mga viewers natin na maaga sila. Ha? Maraming maraming sila. Yes. Um, for sure, uh, marami pong nag-aantay na ito kasi talagang uh, yung, yung poster natin, ma'am, ang share, umabot po ng uh, almost 1,000. Nag-share <laughs> ah, yeah. So, no. for sure, ma'am, marami pong ano. Marami po talagang uh, mag-aattend. So, yan, bilis umangat, oh. 50 na agad. 60. Bilis umangat na ating viewers. Yeah, 60, 60 na. As of now, we, we are actually reaching 61 viewers. So, yeah. So, ma'am, kamusta po ang uh, lockdown natin? Ang <laughs> quarantine natin? Yung sa buhay dyan? Uh, alam mo, para kayo ang dapat ang tanungin ko. Kasi ako, everyday, uh, marami akong ginagawa online, eh. Eh kayo, si Christian din eh, hindi nga din yung mga kahinga. And you know, <laughs> I know with everything ha, you still find the time to do this. So maraming salamat sa inyo ha. Ma'am, thank you. Kamusta naman lockdown nyo? Thank you ma'am kasi napagbigyan nyo po kami. Alam po namin na uh, sa mga TV shows kayo lumalabas ma'am. Tapos biglang dito tayo sa, ano, sa bahay lang. <laughs> Dati ba? Ang mas maganda na dito tayo sa bahay dahil uh, eto ang para sa atin. This is our turf, di ba? Sa TV show, ang hirap-hirap tayo. Ay, ngayon, nandito tayo lahat sa bahay natin. Comfort ng bahay pa natin. Di ba? Opo, oh, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And we also dedicate this uh, webinar to all our frontliners who are watching. So, the public service sectors, BSWD, yung mga kasamahan namin. Actually, may bagyo po. So, we're actually responding also to the needs of the community, especially dun sa mga nabagyuhan now. And we dedicate this to you also. Thank you very much for serving the Filipino people. Ayan. So we have we have people watching from uh, Tacloban, from Batangas, all over the Philippines to yes. ma'am. We so... have Tacloban. We have from Batangas. Ayan, nag nanonood din si ma'am. Ay, ako din, tingnan mo. Diba? So as of now, we have 135 viewers. So we, we're going to wait for some more. Ayan, mga... from Bureau of Fire Protection. Oh, si Sir, Sir Eliezer. Eliezer. Uh, Maka-message kami niyang kanina. Yata <laughs> yung, yung ating uh, event tonight. Yes. Hi, Ronnie. Ronnie Noche. You're so watching. Daniel. Joanne from Bawan Batangas. Hello. Post your, uh, your comments, your shout outs here. Ayon. So, Kuya MC, how's your lockdown uh, experience? Kamusta? Eh, eto po, quarant pig. <laughs> Nag-gay-gay nag, nag na tayo ng weight kasi ano eh, kain ng kain, walang masyadong exercise o oh, walang masyadong labas hindi ka mukha dati na very active in lifestyle. Wala Pero, masyadong galaw ah. Wala ma'am. Opo, uh, pagkatas ng bed, kitchen tapos bed ulit, <laughs> computer. Uh, nag-transition din po kasi yung business from uh, from offline. Of course, uh, tinransition na po namin into online. Wow. Kaya talagang uh, yun. So, I'm thinking of uh, having having a schedule para mag-exercise. I guess ma'am, kailangan natin yun, ano? Uh, 
I think I think it's you what you're saying is right. Kailangan natin mag-exercise. Hindi lang katawan natin na mentally we also have to practice that and exercise our mind. So minsan nakakalimutan natin while we do our physical exercise, nakakalimutan natin yung mga simple mental exercises natin. Wow. And we're so excited, Mom, to hear that mental exercises later. Oh, uh, Mom, no, nakaka, nakaka-pressure din sa sa utak yung lagi ka lang confined sa ano mo eh, sa bahay mo, then watching the news. Hindi mo alam paano ka paano ka mag adapt dun sa sa nangyayari ngayon. So it's a good thing na we have this. Excited na talaga kami, ma'am. Kasi para, para malaman natin kung paano tayo mag a sa new normal. So yes. sobrang exciting po nun. Ikaw, From Kuya the, Christian. <laughs> Kamusta ang quarantine natin, Kuya Christian? Nakikikuya ako, uh, ah. <laughs> Sure. Okay. Bunso, so, bunso. <laughs> um, yung quarantine is... Uh, Ganun din, quarantine din. So, eating, uh, a lot of writing, papers, and also, ang daming mga callers. So, since I'm a volunteer psychosocial support provider, and uh, we're receiving a lot of calls all over the Philippines. So, yun, pag mga may kailangan sila, and we try to refer them. Yung mga hindi nabigyan ng relief, yung mga may questions sa staff, sa mga ayuda ng gobyerno. So, we're, we're trying to answer those concerns. And glad na, na res, nabibigyan naman ng response yung mga problems nila. That's Yun. good to know. So, in three yeah. minutes, ma'am, uh, maybe we can we can start. Antayin lang po natin mag 8 p.m. So, saktong-sakto po ito. Dumadami na po tayo. Maayong gabi Ito's... sa inyong tanan sa Mindanao. Wow! Sige, sige hey, pa. Kasi may, na, oh, may taga Batangas tayo, malakas na ulan. Hello, kamusta na silang lahat? Opo, diba? may, bagyo, may bagyo ngayon, ma'am. Oh, dumating si Ambo. Sa init ng panahon, biglang dumating si Ambo. Ma'am, may quarantine pass ba yon si Ambo? Ay, sa tingin ko, oh, nga eh. Nakapasok. Ano, nakapasok siya, ha? Makahabulin siya, matracing siya. Di ba? <laughs> ba? Baka wala quarantine pass yun. Kaya... <laughs> Baka ma'am nanghihingi din ng ayuda sa government. <laughs> Oo nga. Da- dapat sa'yo na pumunta. <laughs> diba? Diretso <laughs> DSWD siya, no? DSWD, yeah. So, yun. Hi, Hi Raul. From Marinduque, would like to greet the APCMC also. Uh, Kalabarsan ni Maropa Chapter. Yan, sa mga taga Marinduque po. Hi, sana okay lang po kayo dyan. Sana may kuryente po. Alam kong lagi nawawalan ng kuryente dyan sa Marindu. But I'm hoping na merong kuryente ngayon. So, yeah. Kanina, naalaman ko, nag-check tayo, I can find the files. Ngayon parang hindi ko, ma-f- ma- hindi ko ma-connect yung file natin bigla. Ha? Um, Nan- Oo. Mag-share screen po tayo mamaya ma'am para makita nyo po yung... There you go. Oh, yeah. Yan, yan ma'am. So nakikita namin yung Facebook ninyo, ma'am. Talaga. <laughs> diba? Sasara ko muna ang Facebook ko. Para, <laughs> and, 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 para makapasok muna yung share screen ko. Kasi bang nga, baka hindi tayo makapasok. Nakakaya naman sa kanila. Diba? Actually, ma'am, nakashare Pwede screen na po kayo, ma'am. Nang PowerPoint ko? Yes. Uh, not yet. Hindi pa po yung PowerPoint. Nakikita po namin ngayon yung dashboard ninyo. Huh? <laughs> Oo Mark nga, eh. Mac also. Nakamak din pala si Mami, no? Oo nga. Parang bakit di ako makapasok ulit, ha? Nandito ako, pero hindi ako nakaka-share screen. Actually, ma'am, nakashare screen na po kayo ngayon, ma'am. I-open nyo lang po yung file yung nung PowerPoint. PowerPoint. Ito na. There you yes, go. Kita na ninyo. Uh, Ayan. Ayan Yon. na siya. Butterfly. Diba? Or caterpillar. Diba? Para... Ang ganda na ay I like I like it eh. uh, dito ka into the unknown, di ba? And dalas ang parating sinasabi nila, ano ba 'yun unknown? Eh? So let's just go later to the unknown. So <laughs> right now we have 218. Yun ma'am, hindi niyo po kami makikita once the next share screen na po tayo. Grabe, mamimiss ko kayo. Maski maliit, <laughs> ko kayo makikita. Sa screen lang ma'am, kayo po yung makikita natin. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Sa screen kayo lang yung nakikita namin. 
Pero maririnig ko kayo, tama? Yes. Sir. Yes po. So, so mamaya po magpagano, mag spotlight video po ako sa inyo para po kayo lang yung makita nila sa discussion. Tapos babalik na lang po tayo sa normal screen natin kapag ka po nasa ano na po tayo, nasa question and answer. Sa mga sa mga audience po natin na nakikinig ngayon, uh, please prepare your questions kasi right after ng uh, 10 hours discussion ni ma'am. <laughs> Sobra ka naman, 8 eh, and a half. <laughs> 8 and a half lang pala. So mag-open tayo ng question and answer right after ng 45 minutes to 1 hour discussion ni ma'am. So doon ta- doon natin i-boost lahat ng questions natin para tuloy-tuloy lang yung discussion. And yes. it is indeed our privilege kasi gabi no libreng libreng webinar offered uh inayahandog sa inyo ng Filipino psychometricians. Yes. Uh, so ang ganda nito. Actually we have a lot of webinars po na kinondak before and you can still go back to it. You can still watch it. Uh we're very inclusive here in this group. So we actually invite other people from different professions to join us, to watch us, and para mapalaganap din po natin yung psychology sa kanila. Oh, maganda yung topic, yung, ano, yung positive psychology. na Napanood ko yung video na yun. Ang galing ng speaker nun. <laughs> Sino sa, sa kanila? Magaling yan. Which one? The one from Singapore? or MC sa... Melor daw po yung, yung pangalan. Yung... MC Melor <laughs> daw po eh. <laughs> You know, we sponsored the Positive Psychology here before, uh, last two years ago, I think, mm-hmm. sa Crown Plaza. We, the, the speakers are very, very good. Yes, si Diner, ma'am. Si Ed Diner. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. I remember that. And dami namin. You went there ba, Christian? I want ko, ma'am, kung natapos ko or parang ano lang. <laughs> daan, daan. Naku, nagpatian sana tayo. Nandun nga sila. <laughs> Yeah, Neil and Dr. Motilia was there, I think. Yes. And Dr. Amalie Chavez. Of course, sila yung kasi nag-organize. Miriam. Miriam. Dr. Kuya. Oo, oh, ang dami na natin from so Pagigay. We're almost, we're almost 300. Oh, almost mm. 300. Hi to my students from the Ocampo Memorial College. From Cebu. May, mag- <laughs> may mga nakikita rin akong classmates ko nung college sa PNU. Time <laughs> <laughs> to greet them. <laughs> and just see, you know, see Marie. <laughs> ah, according to Raul, it's a dragonfly. Yeah. Thank you, Raul. Thank you, <laughs> ma'am. Si Sir Raul po, uh, he attended your seminar daw that is a CEU. That's why he attended also. Nag enjoy ba siya? I yes, hope ma'am. they enjoy it, di ba? Yes, he, uh, he learned a lot. Also, shout out kay Dom Kandaba and Jerry. Ayan, meron also, meron din tayo from Mindoro. Ayan. Oo nga. Ang nalayo nila ha. Maraming salamat. My friend Carmi is here. Maraming salamat. dami ah. Yes ma'am. Bitching. Ang dami ah. Habang tumatagal yan ma'am, mas parami po naman parami. Kasi yung iba ma'am late. Kahit sa internet po, nalilate po sila. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, siguro kasi they are still traffic. having dinner with the family ni ba no? O kaya ma'am na tra- traffic po siguro ma'am. <laughs> Ang dami oh. From Mandawe, hello. Miss Nitsert ba? Hello from Mandawe, hello. Tapos sabi po ni Lordy Angelo Santos, so much to learn from Dr. G. Of course, marami tayong matututunan tonight. Thank you Sir Lordy from CEU po yan, si Sir Lordy. Thank you. Ihanda na ninyo. May exams tayo. Mahaba-haba. <laughs> diba? May quiz. From Laguna, hello. From Imbuwabati po sa inyo. From uh, Sunflower Children's Center. Yes. Hello, Jewel. That's my family. Whenever I'm in Baguio, they're really my family. And I'm always with them and will always be with them. Family. Hello, Sunflower family. Yan yung mga play therapist, mga galing na play therapist. From Tagig, hello. Wow, from Tarlac City, PAP Counseling Division, ma'am. Hello, Jas. Alam mo, nung nakiusap ako kay Das, sabi ko kung pwedeng i-post niya. Sabi niya, yes, I know Christian. Christian is my friend. 
Parang tumahimig ako, hindi niya ako naging kaibigan. Pero hello, Darcy, I'm sorry, I'm just joking. I'm so happy and so thankful. Tinuluan nila tayo mag-promote. Maraming maraming salamat po. Knowing you, how busy Dad. they are. Maraming Dad. salamat. Yeah. Thank you also for sa PAP, kay Sir Ron. Hello, Ron. Thank you for... Ah! The Lasal Dasma, hello. Good evening po from Baguio. Hello everyone from Baguio. I hope okay kayo doon. Hello, Miss Erica. Oh, Jewel, I miss you. Mas miss ko kayo. Mm-hmm. Kasi I, I, I miss our eating time sa Baguio too. Huwag lang malaman ni Father. Si Father Costa ba yan, ma? Yes. Kasi hindi kami pwede kumain ng junk food pag nandyan siya. Kaya ang junk food tinatago ko sa bag, sa ilalim ng table, at kung saan siya. And I'm sure well, wala siya dito kasi hindi ko siya nakita. Kaya pwede ko sabihin. Hello from Bacolod. Roan, you're from Bacolod. Hello, how are you? Hello, Berna. She's from Kainda. Wow. Hi, Miss Joanne San Juan from BILGN Arellano. Hi, Miss Edge Kison. Ang dami, ma'am. We're 335 right now who's watching. And they're so excited to hear from you. Mm-hmm. Actually, akong excited sa kanila. Ha? Sige, ma'am. Two more minutes and uh, maybe we can start. Para 8.10 start po tayo. Yeah. Hello, Redel. Thank you. Ah. Thank you. Uh, ano pala? Na-brown out sila. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Yes. Also, sa mga uh, reviewers and sa mga reviewees ng mga board, uh, ng mga magpitake ng board exam for psychometricians, hello. Di ko na kayo maisa-isa sa mga students namin, former students. Hello. Thank you for your support. I'm Albert Sariaya Quezon. Hello. Ay, sabi daw ni Miss Jewel, everyone ha, huwag daw sabihin kay Father Costa. Hello from Bicol, Miss Ching. How are you? Hello everyone. There's a Bicol. I miss you. Masarap din kumain ng halo-halo doon. Hello everyone sa Bible Study Group ko. Hello Mommy Grace. Hello Therese, Jeanette, Chewy, Beth, Marlette, Judith, and more. Hello, hello to everyone. Hello, hello. Salamat po for praying for me kasi I really need this. I'm so happy to be to be doing this, but thank you so much. Hello from Calamba, Laguna. From Bulacan. Yan. Ah, from Sambuanga. Hello. Hello, Lizzie. Ayan, ma'am. Mag-400 uh, na po ang ating viewers. You know, so, the Lord in. will lead. Tino. Hello from CU Claudette. Hello, Christian. Kamusta daw? Sabi daw ni Miss Claudette. Hi. Hi, Miss Claudette from CEU and also from uh, Sarah. Yeah. Baka, baka so, look focus nag- with therapy. <laughs> baka, baka marami nag-join dahil estudyante mo ito, Christian, na. <laughs> I <know. laughs> love it. I love it. I love it. Marami Hello, po din sa team ni Sir MC. <laughs> Hello, alika, alika, alika. Hindi siya, sabi daw niya, mga classmate daw niya. So, ibig sabihin, iba na siya, bata siya. Hello from La Union, Colleen, hello. Isabella, Mona Lisa, how, how are you? Kamusta na kayo dyan? Ah, Ilocos Norte. Hello po. Hello po, Athena. Ha, ah, I love it. Hello, Bohol. Hello also sa mga taga-fitness first na nakatune in. <laughs> Team Lakas. <laughs> from from City of San Jose del Monte, sabi ni Nelia. May sarili Hello. na. May sarili na ha. Watching from Sambuanga. Hello from Cavite. Miss Hana, kamusta? Nasa silang? Mama, may nagchat-chat na kagad sa akin. They want a part two for this. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine, no? just one night tayong dalawa, Christian. And then, ito na nagawa mo. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyong dalawa. Hello from South Cotabato. From Beautiful Indonesia, Ma'am. Oh. From Indonesia, meron din. Watching from Indonesia. 
Wow. Jerry Mekashi. Chewy is from Singapore. Hello, Chewy. <laughs> thank you so Mekashi. much. Hello, RV. RV Bunag. Uh, thank you for greeting. Hi, Miss Diana Jane. Thank you for tuning in. So Question. please, please, itag nyo po yung mga ano nyo. Itag nyo po yung mga friends nyo na wala pa dito sa ating live. Ayan. Yes, ma'am? Ang, dami, ang daming heart. Ano bang heart? Yung mga, mga girlfriends mo ba? O ano? Ba't ang daming puso-puso dito? Is that your girlfriend? <laughs> dami eh. Hindi ma'am. Uh, <laughs> nagsisend out lang sila ng pagmamahal sa inyo kasi imagine. Sa atin lahat. We have, di ba? To love one another. Akala ko para sa iyo yung mga puso. <laughs> si Mark Kevin. Kevs, kamusta ka na? Nami-miss na kita. Tagal na natin hindi nag-uusap. Ay, oo nga pala. To those asking certificate, sorry po. Kasi po, uh, lockdown din sila. So, hindi kami makapag-apply. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> po makapag-apply ng CPD. <laughs> Hello, Miss Joanne. Mas mahalaga, ma'am, yung matututunan nila ngayon. And uh, I think you certificate, pwede naman natin kunin sa ibang pagkakataon kung hindi tayo makapagbigay ngayon. But ang mahalaga yung knowledge and the wisdom na matututunan natin sa discussion ngayon. Uy, makahabulin ka nila, ha? Alam mo na. Hindi, ma'am. Sa ibang pagkakataon nga nila makukuha yung certificate kasi <laughs> libre naman to at uh, medyo ah. social media lang ang datingan. Alam mo, actually, wala tayong ano, wala tayong Ay, tama. I love it. Sabi ni Darwin, ang kulit ko daw. Actually, that is my real me. Okay? <laughs> Mas mabait pa yung dalawa sa akin. <laughs> <laughs> Mami, nagtatanong so, po kung po pwede daw po ba nilang hingiin ang PowerPoint after. Free. I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to give it to Christian. You can send it out. It's free. Yes, uh, we're just going to send you guys the Google link for for you to access those. Or po pwede natin i-upload siguro dito sa ating uh, page. Page, no, yung mismong page. file. Tapos pwede nilang i-download Download. na lang. Grabe yes. no, libre ibibigay ni ma'am. Yes, so we're so privileged to have uh, Ma'am Ali. Sobrang grabe bigatin, di ba? Kuya MC. <laughs> So, yes. parang, uh, parang kasasabi lang hindi ko nag-exercise hello Poveda that's where our my daughters all graduated from Poveda hello hi I have to behave kasi currently watching hello yeah. meron si no ma'am taga St. Paul <laughs> I love it dyan ako graduate dyan din sumakit ang ulo mga professors ko maraming maraming salamat sumakit ulo niya sa akin St. Paul Manila po kayo ma'am Hi, Quezon City. Sister Quezon Jerry, City. Sister George. Alam mo, naging friends ko sila. Hindi naman ako naging sakit ng ulo nila. <laughs> Kasi takot ako yun. Mabait ako noon. <laughs> Hi, Brain from PUP and BJMT is watching right now. So, Sir MC. Alright. So, Let's, let's uh let's start. Pakilala muna tayo, Christian, bago natin i-introduce si Ma'am, no? Ang ating uh, special guest for tonight. So, para maganda gawing regular to, Ma'am, no? Para may regular segment yeah. tayo na ganito. Parang touching, touching, touch base tayo, ha? <laughs> Actually, right, so, I did it. Eh. Yes, okay. Ma'am. No, I did it because really Christian wanted to touch base with all the psychometrician. And he's so generous to even open it up to everyone. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyong dalawa. Alam mo, everyone, palakpakan natin silang dalawa because without the two of them, this would not have happened. Kung ako lang, ang alam ko lang pumindot. Pero thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Thank you to the two of you. Pasalamatan natin kayong dalawa. Thank you. Thank you also for those uh, na nag-moderate ng page and for Sir Tino Repaso for uh, support also. And syempre, thank you sa mga nanonood ngayon, no? So talagang uh, jam-pack tayo. But anyway, so pakilala po muna tayo. Ako po si MC Melor. I graduated my undergrad sa Philippine Normal University. Major in Guidance and Counseling po ako doon. And currently, I'm an entrepreneur. And uh, isa po ako sa moderator ng Filipino Psychometrician. Eh, yun lang naman. So I'm... 
uh, focusing siguro yung studies ko para magkaroon kayo ng idea into positive psychology and guidance and counseling. So, ayan. Kasama po natin dito si Bunso, si Christian. Hi. <laughs> so, uh, thank you Kuya MC for that, for that wonderful introduction. So, we're actually privileged to have MC and um, Miss Ali. So, my name is Christian. I'm a development worker from the Department of Social Welfare and Development, and I'm currently finishing my master's uh, thesis phase uh, sa UP Diliman, Master of Arts in Psychology. Hopefully, this uh, next sem, makatapos na, makapagsablay din. So, okay, so let's now introduce our guest speaker. Grabe, we're so privileged, di ba, Kuya MC, to have her? Excited na ako, promise. I'm excited na ako. <laughs> so, all right, let's, I will introduce our speaker. So, Ms. Lilian Nanggi is an experienced certified specialist in counseling psychology with a demonstrated history of working in the mental health care industry. She specializes in working with children and adolescents who suffer from mood disorders, trauma, abuse, and disruptive behavioral disorders. Likewise, she is also a trainer, facilitator, consultant, Christian counselor, relational life coach, and a resident psychologist for both GMA and ABS-CBN. And syempre sa magandang buhay. Besides, she is also a member of the Board of Trustees of Alliance Graduate School, a visiting professor for various schools, including De La Salle, Las Marinas, as well as Asian Center for Missions. And currently, she is our chair at the Counseling Psychology Division of the Psychological Association of the Philippines. So without further ado, we're now opening the floor. Uh, let's actually give her a round of applause siguro sa comment section. Miss Lilian Nanggi. Yay! Wow, hello. Parang nabigla ako ah. Give the floor. Uh, tinignan ko bigla floor namin. Okay, everyone, thank you so much for joining us in such short notice. Thank you for uh, for uh, liking our page and for finding the time to join us. Alam niyo po, privilege namin po na mapayagan niyo po kami pumunta sa bahay ninyo, sa loob ng pamamahay ninyo at sa inyong mga computer o mga phone. Maraming salamat po. Today, you know, uh, most of the people right now are so curious on what to do. How do they, how do they venture into the unknown? So I, I told Christian about it and he came up with this topic. And, uh, into the unknown, the psychology of the new normal. You can have the slides, uh, the PowerPoint later on. Uh, but I also siya mag-click. Okay. When was the last time you did something for the first time? Sige nga, mag, mag thumbs up kayo. When was the last time you did something for the first time? Some people would tell me, ah, the first time nagklinis ako ng cabinet ko for after uh, haven't cleaned ng cabinet nila. Or sometimes they said uh, they are doing things like, for example, uh, having to cut their own hair, I don't, their own hair for the first time. Question, when did you, when was the last time you did something for the first time? The start of the ECQ, from the start of the ECQ, take lang, I just put this on. From the start of the ECQ, I had intended to take this journey of exploration as well as a personal and an intellectual growth. Because I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know, will this last for two weeks? Will this last for too long? So I might, I might as well just enjoy. So I intended to make this a journey of exploring about things, about myself and about what I can learn as well as making it an intellectual growth for me since I cannot go out. During this time, two important things helped me shape this unique ECQ experience. The first one is time. Now you have all the time in the world. Whatever you want to do, puede, right? Unlike before you have to rush out, I have an appointment, I have a meeting, I have a shoot, I have a talk, I have a call. Sometimes I cannot even find the time to chat with my good friends. Because I don't have the time really to chat and to, to read long things. I'm so busy. But right now, the first thing I have right now is time. I have all the time in the world. I used to wake up. I, I used to go home after counseling at 1 or 2 in the morning. Have to wake up at 6 o'clock or 5 o'clock and go for shoot. Wake for 6 o'clock or 7 o'clock and go for talk. 
right now I don't have to do that. I can wake up late. I wake up at eight o'clock. I love it. Okay. It gives me my beauty sleep. Okay. And now we have all the time to do what we want to do at home. Even if we're working at home, we still have the time, unlike before. And the second one is, of course, emotion. What are these feelings inside? How come I'm feeling this way? Am I overthinking? Am I anxious? Of course, I know I'm not depressed, but what are these thoughts? What are these feelings? What are these inside me? Even as a professional, I always ask myself, what is this? Is it right but to think of it this way? Tama ba? It's not because we're professionals that we know everything. It's not. We are also human beings just like you and me. So I was scrambling to piece my emotions together and looking for solace on the internet. But what else can we do? Diba? Oh, we, the only thing we can do is to be on the net. So I chanced upon a group discussion on Facebook to post a quote that described their feelings. There's these people who go on Facebook and said, okay, fill up the blanks. Okay, today I feel blank. Today I feel blank. Okay, so I chance upon them on Facebook. So I ask myself, what is wrong with overthinking? Sometimes I think of things like this. I think of things like this. What, what's so wrong with overthinking? Every day when I get clients, I do online counseling, by the way. Whenever I talk to clients, either they are so depressed or they are too anxious. They are so afraid, yet they do not know how they, how they can control their fear. And many of them started with overthinking. I will not discuss about depression and suicide because I've been always talking about it every day, okay? I've been dealing with it every day. But the, going back, most of the time, it always starts with people overthinking. So what's wrong with overthinking? Tama naman mag-isip, ba? But Anything over, 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 over is mali na. Anything enough is okay. But anything over than the enough is not good. So the scientific term of overthinking is rumination. Naglagay ako ng form, uh, uh, scientific way of saying it. But you know, analysis paralysis is the state of overthinking about the decision to the point that a choice never gets made. For example, people will always say, uh, I want to cook fried fish, okay? I, I had a, a mother who told me, nag-away sila mag-asawa kasi sabi daw niya, for, break, ay, for dinner, gusto niya magluto ng piniritong isda. Pero sabi niya, nag-isip-isip siya, eh baka ano, baka ano, uh, baka gusto niyo o ayaw niyo, uh, mas maganda magtinola o maano. People who overthink will sometimes and most of the time experience this analysis paralysis. I'm just telling you that this is one example. But many times in our life, we don't know what we want to choose. When we go out to the mall and, and we're going to buy a pair of shoes, sometimes we end up we ended up buying two pairs of shoes. Why? Because we're so confused on which one to get. We don't know what to choose, which one to choose. Okay. So overthinking can lead to serious emotional distress and increase your risk of mental health problems. If you keep on thinking and thinking and thinking, naku, malapit-lapit na kayo. And I don't want you to get into that area. So overthinking can lead to serious emotional distress and increase your risk of mental health problems. When I say overthinking, sometimes we overthink about our relationships too. Our relationships with other people. Do they like me? Do they hate me? Will I please them? No. When you overthink something, it can be something that's already serious going to cause you serious distress and increase your, your, your chances to have mental health problems. So why do you want to do that, diba? Overthinking is linked to psychological problems like depression and anxiety. That's why I said before, I start talking about depression again and anxiety or suicide. Let's start first with the beginning, diba? Let's start about overthinking because overthinking can cause mental health to decline. And as your mental health declines, the more likely you are again going to overthink. Bakit ako ganyan? Bakit ako parating nalulungkot? Bakit ako? All the more you will, the, your mental health will keep on declining and declining and declining. For a very simple reason, you are starting your world, your day by overthinking na. Ano mangyayari ngayon araw? Uh, uh, uulan, babaha, babagyo, ano ba to? Uh, start of the day, overthinking na. And that's not healthy. So how do you stop overthinking? How? Number one, be a morning person. 
Okay, recognize your brain is in the overdrive or ruminating mood and then try to snap out of it immediately. The very moment that you find out that your brain is already starting to overthink, snap out of it. Nago overdrive kayo kumbaga sa kotse. Okay? Recognize your triggers. Alam mo, what's causing me to be overthinking? For example, I have clients nowadays, what what are their triggers? Internet. Okay? They watch news, they watch news here, news there, they don't know May mga iba nagsasabi, ayaw daw ng government, ito gamitin na panggamot, ito daw ang solusyon sa COVID-19. What? What are your triggers? Why do you overthink? And if you overthink, limit your choices. If you have five choices, make it three, make it two. Limit your choices. If you know you're a person that overthinks, limit your choices. Don't make it a lot. It will all the more confuse you. It will encourage you to overthink again. And that, then that will encourage you to be overthinker, always an overthinker. If you need the help, call a friend. You're not alone in this world. You have many friends. Did you know that before I started this, I was in, in my uh, room changing up. I right away message my Bible study group, please pray for me. Call a friend. It's very important that you learn and you call a friend. It's very important you have good friends, friends who can support you. And of course, how can you, if all fails and you tell me, Doc Ali, I don't have a friend, fine. You don't have a friend, pray and change your view of fear. Many times, if we don't know what to do, many times we always have this idea, no? We pray to the Lord, Lord, sana walang bagyo. No, why don't we change the way we pray instead of always asking the Lord what to do? Learn first to say thank you. Lord, thank you for the breeze. Lord, thank you for giving us our daily needs. Lord, thank you for, uh, I got uh, ayuda from the government. Instead, okay, lang ako, Lord, bibigyan. Pray, pray and praise the Lord and change your, and this will terribly change your view of faith, of fear. Lastly, of course, we have to let go and let God. There are many things you have no control of. But you know, if we know we pray to the Lord, if we know we let God handle it, tama na. Wag yun, nagdasal ka na, ginawa mo na lahat. I'm not saying being complacent. Ha? Nagdasal ka na, ginawa mo na. Okay? Nagdasal ka na, nagdasal kay God. Pero wala kang tiwala kay God. Kasi nag-overthink ka na naman eh. No. If you overthink and you know that you pray, and, uh, and, and you prayed and told the Lord to handle it for you, trust in His sovereign power. He will handle it for you. Maybe not the time that you want, but the time that He wants best for you. So after all of this, I found myself, does God really know my thoughts? Hmm? Kaya? Alam kaya ng Diyos? Then I found myself praying more during this distressful time. Not asking the Lord what to do, just talking. When I pray, sometimes I just keep quiet. Okay, let's go to to our way now in the world. How do how do we uh, how not to go crazy while stuck at home in quarantine? Every day on the phone counseling. People ask me. I just had a shoot today. Okay, for my, for my uh, YouTube. All the questions are: How do you not go crazy? How can one maintain being sane during this time of home quarantine? You know, we feel better when we are prepared. That's always what we think. That's always what we, we want to happen. There are many, many ways. Number one, limit your exposure to social media news on COVID-19 that feeds people's fear. I'm not saying you don't listen to the news. Go, listen to the news. Go to the, the WHO. Listen. But after that, tapos na. Don't, don't do it a whole day. You're just listening. COVID, COVID. Ah, this is what COVID looks like. You know, I have a client who would call me and tell me, you know, I can already uh, uh, draw how a COVID virus looks like with the exact color and the spikes. Imagine, ganun na naisipan na niya. All about COVID-19. Everything na kakainin daw niya, ang tingin daw niya, rambutan is COVID. Lahat ng ganyan. Please, it's okay to understand. It's okay to educate ourselves. But we do not feed that and cause it to be our fear. Find and read and listen to real facts, not fake news or fake cures. Many people always say, well, how come the government is not like this? How come the government's like, like that? Ito naman may gamoto, ito naman may cure. Hello, wait, are these tested ba? Are these real news ba? Or are these fake cures? Find out the truth by going to the right and legit site. Talk to people through Skype, through Zoom, through Facebook messages, text, or phone calls. Talk to people. You want to be on the internet? Fine. But emotionally connect with people. You do not just go surfing and surfing and surfing and lurking and lurking at the artista. What for? Diba? 
talk and connect with friends. Talk with co and connect with your friends because you know they're more important that, than yung mga pinafollow ninyo. I, hindi importante yan. Mas importante emotionally connect with others. Exercise. I love it. Kanina sinabi. Exercise. There's so many exercise. I see. You even have that the way you sitting down, you can do exercise. Why not? Find the time to exercise. Simple exercise. Three, three or four, four. Do simple exercise. It's good not only for your body. It's good for the for your brain or for your hormones as well. It will create happy, happy hormones for you if you exercise daily. Do your daily devotions and prayer. When I say this, you know, I'm not saying that you, you go down on your knees and pray like 30 minutes. No. You can just sit down. You can get a ball pen and a, 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 a notebook. Write down the things. Write down the things that you, that it, what happened to you yesterday. Or you can always write down the things what you want to happen in your life. And you can always find an easy to follow uh, Bible devotion. Before, in, you know, every day in the morning, before I post something on my Facebook account, I always find the time to pray. I always first find the time to devote myself before I post on what my shouts out would be. Be mindful of what you eat and drink. Be sure they are healthy for your body and mind. Of course, too much carbo for your body is not good because it slows your brain. It will make your brain slow and you will not be thinking maayos. Try to regulate what you eat, okay? Drink a lot of water because water is very good. It is fuel for your, for your brain. So don't forget to always drink water. When I say water, it's not iced tea, it's not uh, Coke, it's not all of these colored drinks. When I say water, water, period, too big. Kasi too big is fuel for your brain. Don't forget to regulate and monitor your sleep pattern. Okay lang to sleep late because you're not doing anything. Excuse me, but don't forget to regulate and monitor. You don't have an erratic sleep pattern. It's not healthy at all. Have daily dates with your significant others. Yan. I always, every day, have clients who would call me. They hate their partner very much. Inis na inis na daw siya. Kung pwede daw isipa palabas na sana, wala nang ECQ para umalis ng asawa nyo. Hey, wait. Hindi ba pinakasalan nyo yan? Hindi ba nangako kayo sa Diyos na mahalin sila? So bakit ngayon? Ano yan? Bawi-bawi? No. Try to make ways on how can you have daily dates. Paano mag-daily dates? Ang sikip-sikip namin sa bahay. Why not? Text mo siya. Honey, I love you. Habang nagluluto ka. O, bago matulog, imbis na halikan mo siya. O, sanay kayo hindi siya halikan kasi may mga bata. Text mo. I love you, honey. Good night. Have your daily dates with your significant others. Believe it or not, it helps a lot. Sasabihin, ano, tanda na kami. Ay, wala matanda. Kalabaw nga, ayaw aminin, matanda, tayo pa. At ayaw ko aminin yan. Get your mind off what's happening and not let it consume you by focusing on other things. Remember, the key word right now is survival. How will we survive after this quarantine? How will we survive financially? How will our family survive? Will I still be having my job? Will I still be here? Think about it. The word right now, when you step out into the world, in the business world, it's not how many percent you earn. It's how this business will survive. Think about it. How will your family survive? Think of ways to be of help to others while quarantining. Of course, while you're on the internet or while you're doing something, kung magaling ka na karpentero, why not help fix a little things na sira sa bahay mo? If ikaw ay walang ginawa, kung hindi magawa ng uh, internet, ng mag-internet, gumawa ka ng paraan. Mag-join ka kung saan ka makakatulong and do online counseling. Do something that will help others. Kung magaling ka maglaba, maglaba ka for your family. That's very, very good. Others are, who are the others? Others are the people around you. Di ba? For me, right now, wala akong ginagawa. Marami akong oras. When I see my, my yaya ay cooking, Dati, uupo lang ako, magbabasa ng dyaryo, hintayin ko pagkain ko eh. Now, no more. I go to the kitchen and I, says, and I ask, ano niluluto mo? Tulungan kita. Sige, ako na magpaksok niyan. And after eating, you put your plate sa sink. Huwag ka na maghintay. That's also a good way of helping others. Bakit? Kasi ikaw amo, sila hindi. No. When I say others, everyone around you are others. Help them. Maski maliit na bagay, tulungan mo. Kung hindi marinong gumupit, tulungan mo. Be helpful. 
instead of complaining about the weather, enjoy the warmth of the sun. Buti nga may araw tayo eh. My friends kanina nagtaping kami sa Saudi, hirap na hirap sila. Ang init-init nila. Tayo humid. At least napapawisan tayo. Sila dry. Ang hirap-hirap talaga ang huminga sa ganyan weather. Plan and work on your expenses during and after the quarantine. I said before kanina, plan about it. Kasi the way you will spend after the quarantine is very different the way from the way you're spending before the quarantine. Dati sa quarantine, hindi mo unang pinupunta ng alkohol eh. Ngayon, yan ang unang pupuntahan mo. ba? Diba? Dati, hindi naman tayo bu- kailangan bumili ng face mask eh. Ngayon, yan ang unang-unang hinahanap natin online o kung tuwing pumupunta tayo sa grocery. These are, other, these are added expenses for the family. Think about it. Work on it. Look up and be thankful for the clear blue sky, the stars and the rain. Whenever you want to complain, look up. You know, people who likes to complain, they always do like this. So like, looking down, looking down. Looking down, looking down, madadapa ka. Looking down, looking down, wala kang makikita. But when you have problems, try to look up and look up look up into the sky and see how beautiful, how huge the sky is. Is your problem as huge as the sky? If you say yes, I will ask you, where's the beginning and the end of the sky? So always learn to be thankful for crystal clear blue skies and the stars and the rain. Did you know that before we... Uh, first few nights of our ECQ, I look out of my window and it was so beautiful. Plenty of stars actually, totoo. And the sky was so clear with lots of stars. Remember, there are so many things to be thankful for. The rain. Thank you for the rain, not the typhoon. Okay? Look for even the smallest experiences to appreciate. Maliit mang na bagay, i-appreciate nyo. Ako, I appreciate me taking the plate to the sink. Kasi natutuwa ako eh. Hindi yun nakakatuwa. I appreciate because things like this, I can do. I can still do it and do it good. Because there will come a time kung hindi na natin kayang gumalaw, doon na lang tayo magsisisi. Of course not. Appreciate the little things that you can do. Don't forget to take your daily vitamin. It's very, very important, you know. Anong brand? Any brand. Basta, you know, take your vitamins. Don't forget to take your vitamins every day. Benefit from distancing every count, every encounter you have with other humans in the grocery or drugstore. Oh, di ba? I love this. But thumbs up. Imagine, hindi na kayo siksiksiksikan, hindi na kayo tulak-tulak-tulakan, at higit sa lahat, kung hindi siya naligo, malayo-layo naman siya sa iyo. Okay? Thank, thank, you be thankful that we benefit from this. I'm just, I'm just joking. Ah. But you know, it's true. Because it is keeping you healthy. This is a very healthy way of dealing with people. Other countries are doing it. You know, maski noon pa hindi man naman physical distancing, but they know how to uh, respect personal space. Tayo hindi. Siksikan, siksikan, unahan ng unahan, sikuan ng sikuan. This is not right. Okay? Remember the president, our leaders, the world leaders and health workers in prayers for favor, wisdom, and salvation. It's okay to pray for our family, for our loved ones. But please don't forget also to pray for our country. Pray for our president, our lawmakers. Don't pray that ABS-CBN be open or anything. Yes, you pray for everything. You pray for our lawmakers. Pray. Pray that the Lord will guide our president the right way. Pray for the health workers. Did you know Christian, Christian aside from being a, a, a psychologist, he is still working as a social worker din. Nagdidistribute. Let's pray for them. Let's pray for those people who are sweeping the floors every day. Let's pray for the Lala Move uh, drivers and all of them. Let's pray for the security guard. Let's pray. Let's pray. And appreciate the smiles and caring concerns of others. Kanina, alam mo, nakikita naman niyo ako, bungis-ngis. I'm so happy. Why? Even if I don't see your smiles, I can see your your heart, your 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 thumbs up and the smile. It makes me so happy. Appreciate them. Because the smiles are so contagious. If you see a smile, nako, for all you know, ikaw ang magkocontaminate sa next person. Because when you see someone smiling, it will rub on to you. Magiging more smiling ka on that day. And you will be caring for others more. Remember your childhood while watching the little girls and boys playing around your area. This is for your parents. Sa panahon ngayon, maraming magulang galit, nagalit sa mga anak nila. Ang kukulit, ang lilikot, naku, pasaway. Please don't say these negative words. Remember your own childhood. Remember while you watch them. 
Remember how you were when you were growing up. This brings back many happy memories. Take the time to laugh and have fun. It's so nice to laugh at things, silly things, but be respectful of what you laugh about, okay? Take the time to laugh and have fun and focus your mind on God and not COVID-19. COVID-19 is a virus. It keeps on spreading, but God is the one who created everything, okay? So please, focus on your, focus not on the COVID-19. Oh, oh, learn about it, know about it, be careful about it, but that's not our main focus in life. When the biggest hurdles were over, you know, after overthinking and all of this, became, uh, became a bit clearer, my mindset transferred into my daily life and I ventured into unknown territories. As a result, I have grown so much in such a short period of time. I was not like my before. For a while, our body and mind are being trained to the unknown and the new normal. Whether we like it, our body are being trained. Ayan na, nag alcohol ka na. Diba? Nagmamas na kayo. Some values like godliness in our every way holds promise for the present life and also for the life to come. Why? Because we, hindi tayo natatakot. Hindi tayo, mas, hindi tayo natatakot because we know who is in control of our life. Hindi na tayo mag-overthink because we know He only wants what's best for us. Why? Because he said in the Bible, he created us wonderfully and beautifully. So again, when was the last time you did something for the first time? Okay, think again. When was the last time you did something for the first time? Ako, I did so many first things now. Eh? Okay. Everyone, I'm so grateful to have this unique opportunity to explore and to grow. You know why? It is very challenging. It is challenging, but I am happy to be a part of history in the making. I am part of history in the making. All of you are also part of history in the making. How will you tell your story to your grandchildren one day when they come up and say, Lola, Lolo, nabasa namin dito sa libro, once upon a time pala, nagka-COVID pala sa Philippines, COVID-19. Namusta ka? Anong ginawa mo? Kwentuhan mo naman ako. My last word is, what will your story be? Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. And thank you, everyone, for joining me. And I will now answer all your questions as they come. Maraming salamat, Christian. Maraming salamat. Ma'am, sobrang ganda po ng inyong uh, discussion for tonight. Yeah. Mas maganda po i-stop uh, yung screen share natin para po makita nila kayo. Ayan. Yeah, di ba? Yeah. Maraming salamat everyone. Maraming maraming sure. salamat. So as of the moment, we have more than 500 Can viewers. Say, no? Oh, maraming salamat. Yeah, you know, it's a have... stormy night. They're here. Huh? <laughs> yeah. I want to share something pala with you. When I say pala, uh, do something helpful. Do something that is worth your time. Uh, I cannot stop it because either I'm, I'm being interviewed or I'm doing counseling online. So I am online. Okay. One night while surfing on the net, I found out someone, a shout out. When I read that shout out, sabi ko, ah, ano kaya? Pasukin ko siya, kamustahin ko siya. Slowly, when I talked to that person, I found out pala, yung tao na yon was a very, very galing na tao. Ang dami niya palang training, naku, hindi ko na kailangan ikwento. But you know, this is what I meant eh. When you do something, do something productive. To make the story short, that person became my friend. In just one night, because of our, because of that connection, we were able to come up with this webinar. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. So do something productive. Do something that will help others. Not only help yourself. Do something that would benefit and help others. Care, share, and connect with one another. For this is what the world is all about. Thank you. Munti ko ikwento lahat. So, MC, do you have any questions for 
Miss Anne. I guess uh, meron tayo more na questions for mom, no? Tapos okay. uh, later we will we will entertain po yung mga questions natin. Please comment down your questions sa ating comment section. And maraming maraming salamat for listening, for tuning in. Sobrang yes, amazing ang po. Dami. Yeah, ang dami. Ang dami. Ma'am, sobrang Ay. na-touch po ako doon no, na you can do little things for for somebody or for someone, di ba, na especially ngayon na quarantine. So, mm-hmm. tamang-tama talaga. Ah, I, I like it pala. There's a question. Who are prone to overthinking? People who think they can do things on their own. And then they get disappointed. And then they get to overthink. Remember, <laughs> there are things that you can do. There are things that you cannot do. Always be mindful of what are the things you have control of and what are the things you have no control of. People always want something they cannot have. But we have to always be on the lookout and, and, and be watchful of what we think and what we want. Kaya ba ito? Control ko ba ito? O hindi ko kaya control? Kung hindi ko kaya control, hindi wag. Let go, let God. Diba? Yeah, that's great. Galing. Pati nakakatawa that Ma'am Ali highlighted self-care, diba? In this time of COVID. So, she gave a lot of tips on how are we going to deal with the unknown, the uncertainties, diba? It's really helpful. Thank you for that, Ma'am Ali. And I was also reminded when you use the term rumination, because mm-hmm. it's a transdiagnostic approach in psych- psychopathology, in abnormal psychology. Uh, ang leading na po kasi ngayon ng ating psychopathology, ng abnormal psychology, is not to categorical. So we're mm-hmm. going to dimensional na. So ibig sabihin, hindi na po tayo nakafocus sa category. So nakafocus na tayo sa symptom reduction. And speaking of rumination, nabanggit niyo po yung rumination kanina. And did you know po ba na nabasa ko rin po na yung rumination, siya pala yung common sa anxiety disorder and sa depression. Yes. That is why I wanted to talk more about overthinking because uh, this will lead to anxiety and depression. Because if we talk about anxiety and depression, marami na, marami na nang alam na every day I, I inhale that, I breathe that, I talk about it. It's the <laughs> Akin, no? Even if I'm sleeping, I already know the symptoms. And, you know. But again, I wanted to go more than that. I wanted to understand more. So I came uh, and I always, and I always through my experience, years of experience, I found out that overthinking always, no? Is always the step, the baby step, umpisa ng mga depression, mental health illness. Nandiyan din yun, overthinking. Sometimes you overthink. I'm not good enough. I, I, naku, mas ma, ano, naku, uh, yan. You overthink it. And overthinking is always the, the small thing that is hidden behind the major issues. So sometimes we have to always be watchful. What are we overthinking of? Ano ba? Is it me or is it things or about anything? So mag-ingat tayo sa be, having an overthinking mind. Ma'am, uh, yung isa po sa mga solusyon na nakikita ko po for overthinking, especially nowadays, mm. is, uh, I guess, isa, maganda po yung mga binigay nyo ma'am kanina ng mga self-care. No? So kung iisa-isay natin yun, I hope nag-take down notes yung mga watchers or yung mga viewers natin. If not, ibibigay naman yung PowerPoint nito. But uh, isa po dun sa mga nakita ko is yung, yun nga po, be, be mindful ng iniisip natin, yung pag-consume natin ng social media, yung pag-consume natin ng news. And I would suggest na talagang mag-focus tayo on a day-to-day basis. We yes. live we live this life one day at a time. Kasi yung overthinking nangyayari siya when you're thinking about the past and when you're thinking so much about the future. So ang nangyayari ngayon, na, nami-miss out mo yung magandang bagay na nasa harap mo ngayon. Kaya ma'am kanina, na-remind po ako dun sa sinabi nyo na maging appreciative tayo ng small things na kagaya ng no, simpleng paglalagay ng plato sa sink. Yeah. Na oo nga no, kasi darating yung time hindi mo na magagawa 'to eh kasi maaring sobrang tanda mo na na bedridden ka na or whatever situation you may have. Pero again, if we will be just thankful sa, for everything that we will do, yung self yung 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 tinatawag natin na overthinking medyo ma-reduce 'yan. So it ag, hindi na siya magli-lead into major psychological problems or mental mental health uh, situations. You know, with this COVID-19, I said it's a journey and I learned everything and I learned so many things and I love it. It's true. God told me, Ali, you have no control of your life. 
uh, a few months ago, I'm already, uh, not a few months, I am already going to get my ticket for Prague. There's a convention sa Prague. I was yes, going to get my ticket. Yes, diba? Until, you know, it, you know, that's that's one thing good. Eh? You pray about it, diba? Yung parang, kasi I, I said, Lord, ang dami na itong mga ano, ha, promo rate, ang dami na, naka, nakakailan na ito, ba't di ko pa binili, Lord, baka naman mahal ito mapunta sa akin. It was so good. I just followed the leading and I did not buy my ticket for Prague. Right now, who will know that this COVID-19 will come? Diba? So tama, MC, we live our life each day at a time. Always remember, this is a miracle that I am alive today. This is something I should be thankful. This is a blessing of life. Kasi uh, pwede naman anyone can, you know, you know the COVID-19, you know, it, it might come to me or, diba, or anything. But the mere fact I'm home and safe, this is a blessing. We should not complain. We should not complain. Uh, Lord, but thankful dapat tayo. Mahirap man tayo. Ang dapat na dasal natin, tulungan nyo Lord na kayanin ko. Pero stop complaining. Kasi if you keep on complaining, all the more lulubog at lulubog at you will be miserable. And again, it will cost you mental health issue. Magkakaano ka, very negative ka na. Pag negative ka na, nangigaw ka na, nangaaway ka na. What for? You just hurt people around you. But most of all, the person you hurt is yourself. Kasi itong mga taong ito, mahal mo eh. Bakit mo sila sinasaktan? Diba? So live each day at a time. Be thankful it miracles happen. Your life, your every breath is a miracle given to you. Ma'am, meron pong isang uh, wonderful question. Should I say, is it normal daw po ba na nowadays na naka-quarantine tayo to feel parang iba't ibang emotions on a day-to-day -day basis? Parang nakakaramdam siya ng siguro fluctuation ng emotions niya. Actually, tama. Okay nga. That's why I started my PowerPoint, di ba? When this uh, ECQ started, I had also different emotions. Eh. Ang the difference is I record them. Okay? Nandyan yung anger, nandyan yung fear, nandyan yung anxiety, nandyan ang lahat. Nandyan every day. It's very, very normal. Alam mo, ah, someone called me and said, alam mo, kaya uh, lang daw niya ako tinawagan, not because for counseling, but because gusto daw niya malaman, ano daw dapat ipak niya kasi magmamarsyalo na daw. Imagine, di ba? Not for counseling kasi gusto niya magbigyan ko ng tips how to pack kasi magmamarsyalo. You know, in our life talaga, you will have different emotions. But again, do not feed. It's very important what you feed your mind. Ha? Because what you feed your mind or what you feed your heart is what will come out from to your act, uh, by your actions. So be very careful. Ano ba pinakakain ko sa utak ko? Are they junk food? Are they uh, walang kwentang bagay? Are they fake news? Are they fake cures? Ano ba naman ang pagpapasok ko sa isipan ko? Di ba? Important. Alagaan natin ang mind natin. Brain. Kaya nga nilagay ng Lord sa taas yan eh. Di ba nilagay sa talampakan eh. Di ba? Nandyan yan. Alagaan natin yan. Don't feed our mind negative thoughts. Don't feed our mind. Normal nangyayari ngayon yan. Ha? Sabihin ko ngayon ha. Normal. But again, you can also, you also have a choice to change, to have mind shift. So pwede niyong baguhin. Inbis na natatakot kayo, tell yourself, I'm thankful, I'm safe. Imbis na iirita kayo, ang init-init, pasalamatan mo, Lord, mabuti pa, may kamay ako, magpaypay sa sarili ko. What if biglang inatake ka, hindi ka makakakilos, mas mahirap yun. Diba? Live each day as a time. Yes, uh, maganda nga yun, ma'am, no? yung simpleng pag-inom ng tubig, pinagpapasalamat. Meron akong ritual na ganyan na ginagawa dati, ma'am, when, wow. when I suffered, oh, na nag-suffer po yeah. kasi ako before ng uh, depression. So, isa sa mga naging naging ano ko, coping mechanism ko that time is mm -hmm. lahat mam pinagpapasalamat ko as in literal. So, maganda po yung maganda po yung ganong classing attitude na ma-develop sa atin. Yeah, because you will live and you will want to live. Yes. Because Very you are thankful side. about life. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gratitude side. Naging yeah, positive it's... ano na ako eh. <laughs> Because if you're positive, positive ngayon, ma'am, wag lang sa COVID. <laughs> <laughs> Tama. Alam ko, MC, meron nagbati sa iyo, oh. 'di ba? Ako na nagbasa uh, para sa iyo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, yeah, it's true. You know, you have a, what you think, what you feel you will do. So always put into something positive. Be thankful, be grateful. Dapat nga ako, alam, eh, ako ay cause I go to the very very remote areas of the provinces and help the pastors 
Do you know sometimes just to have a glass of clean water mahirap? Mm -hmm. So dapat nagpapasalamat tayo because water itself, the Lord is good. Water itself is fuel for our brain. Ha? Kung kulang ang, di ba? Kung kulang ang tubig sa pangangatawan natin, mahirapan tayo to think right. So always drink water. It's very good for our uh, mind, for our brain. Mamili. Yes, may uh, yes. isang question pa tayo ulit dito na maganda no na napapanahon kasi mag-GCQ na yung iba so meron po mga back to work na sila so sabi niya we will uh, be back on work on Monday as, a, as an HR personnel what are the ways we can provide psychosocial support in the workplace? Number one dapat ang mindset mo healthy ang hirap mag-provide ng tamang psychosocial uh, services to other people kung sarili mong mindset hindi ka healthy. Number one, you have to have faith. You have to trust na I would be okay. But you know, you have to you know use alcohol, wash your hands, and use masa, okay? You have to have faith. You know, it may be a little faith, but you have to have faith. Kasi ang hirap magbigay ng tulong kung ikaw din kulang. It's hard to give when you are empty on an empty vessel. So, dapat sarili mo, i-equip mo. Be positive, think positive. Uh, always equip yourself. Uh, do the proper hygiene. Do distancing. Okay? Pray and then go. Don't forget to do what you should do. Proper distancing, social distancing. Diba? Kasi ang hirap yung maraming nagtatanong, uh, what should I do? What should I do? Ang tanong, ikaw ba confident to deliver it? Diba? If I tell you this is what you'll do, eh, eh, hindi ka naman confident. Ay, takot! What will happen? Diba? You should be confident enough so that when you deliver it, maganda ang dating kasi you are very natural and this is you. Yan ang important. Okay. Ma'am Ari, I have a personal question. Is, hmm. uh, paano naman po yung mga students right now? Uh, paano po yung adjustment nila? Diba? Papasukan. How are we going to prepare them as parents or sa mga students po at sa mga teachers. Ano po kayong pwede nating ma-advise for them? Uh, I like what the government said eh. Sabi nila, sila din nangangapa. Di ba? And the government said, di ba? Let's do it one step at a time. In the Philippines, for how many years wala naman tayong uh, ganyan pag-aaral through the internet eh. Ngayon, i-incorporate na natin. Dati sa classroom, 40 students. Ngayon, babawasan na because of social distancing. So tayo bilang mga magulang, the best way to prep up our children is to first teach them the proper things at home. Proper hand uh, hygiene, teach our children distancing, teach our children to wear the mask the right way, hindi sa ilalim ng ilong, and prepare our children by talking to them. Look, anak, bago ito, even lola mo, hindi pa naka-experience ng ganyan, uh, nagta-transition tayo dito, just to, because the government wants you to be safe, always Talk to your children. Wag niyo sa sabihin, ah, ganun na pala, no. Find time to talk to your children. Maski once a week, twice a week, ngayon pa lang mag-usap na kayo tungkol sa school. Anak, alika, kwentuhan tayo, what, is, what are your expectations ba? Ano ba narinig mo tungkol sa news about your school? And discuss it sa family niyo. Kasi hindi pwede lang tayo, we always should engage our children in the discussion for they are also part of our, part of our family. Baka may maganda silang idea. Baka tayo lang natatakot pero sa kanila, cool lang dad, chill lang mom, kayang-kaya ito. But again, let's also include them when we discuss about going back. Umpisa pa lang ngayon, dapat pinag-uusapan na eh. Dapat pinaghahandaan na eh. Kasi tandaan natin, yung mga bagay-bagay din natin, whether we like it or not, kailangan din tayong gumastos na wala sa budget din natin. Oh, thank you po for that. Uh, there's another question from Trisha Ferrol. She's asking, what are your thoughts, Ma'am Ali, on online counseling or telecounseling? Ay, maraming salamat sa tanong. Noong unang panahon, <laughs> I normally don't do this. I don't, I, I, I would rather have a face-to-face -face, uh, counseling session with my client. Not because I need to see my client, but because what is important to me are the non-verbal. But again, I also have to flex and to adjust because if this is going to be the new normal, then I should learn. I should learn how to adapt. I should learn the skills. I should learn how to go about it because this is a to totally different platform from what I have been practicing 
and I've been practicing for more than 30 years. So imagine more than 30 years na practice ko, iibahin ko na ngayon. O alam na ninyo lahat, may senior citizen card ako, di ba? So ngayon, yung mga practice ko noon, hindi na po pwede. Pwede, paminsan-minsan. But again, the new normal means social distancing and most of the time through uh, internet. I have to learn and unlearn. That's totoo the way po, to go. Totoo po yun, ma'am. Uh, marami po, sabi ko nga po doon sa isang uh, webinar na kinandak po namin, marami pong trabaho ang mawawala. Maraming trabaho naman din ang magkakaroon. And in fact, meron po akong isang nabasang question na I would like to put some input siguro. Sabi ni Sanne Marie, Hello, I just want to ask for tips lang po ngayong work from home po during COVID. How to overcome slash avoid stress po. Stress po because of the feeling na you bring your work to your home po. Thank you. So, ang naging adjustment ko po, ito based on my personal experience na ginawa ko ngayong work from home, Nagkaroon po ako ng ano ng mini office sa bahay ko na this is my workplace na merong thin line na naghihiwalay sa trabaho at sa pagiging taong bahay ko. Kasi <laughs> ang nangyayari, eh ma'am nakikita ko po parang uh, may office po kayo or parang ganyan. So study room. Di study room. So before wala po akong ganyan. Uh, hindi ako nagtatrabaho talaga sa bahay kasi nga yung business ko po is outside. So right now, nung, nung ginawa namin siyang online at home base, so nag-create ako ng isang area on this this area, dito lang po ako magtatrabaho para naka-mindset ako na time in, time out ako, na work mode ako ngayon, hindi ako taong bahay. Pero alam mo yung naka, na, nakamaayos na damit ka tapos nakaboxers ka sa ilalim, ganun talaga eh. <laughs> <laughs> Uso-uso yan. <laughs> Semi-formal. <laughs> Semi-formal. Uh, Formal yung task, ma'am. <laughs> tapos, hindi, uh, meron yun umagang pajama, gabing pajama. <laughs> Tama. So, yeah, I like what you shared. Maganda nga. I like, that's very encouraging, very positive. Maraming mawawalan trabaho, pero marami din bagong trabaho magka-create. Dati, if you need, a, 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 if you're in an engineering company, you need a salesperson who's uh, a, a, an engineer. Right now, you will need someone who's good with the web. Di ba? So, maraming yes. mawawalan ng trabaho at marami din magkakaroon trabaho. All you have to do is to just be creative and find your niche in this world. And siguro ma'am, uh, since we're talking to a lot of psychometricians and psychologists na nanonood po tayo ngayon, I would suggest na let's let's do let's do counseling online, maybe uh merong mga pro bono na counseling tapos pwede ka ring siguro mag mag uh, magkaroon ng counseling na paid counseling, should I say? Kailangan na rin naman nating itaas yung ating <laughs> Uh, pamantayan, di ba? Kasi parang hindi tayo masyadong pinapansin sa Pilipinas eh. Pagka nakipag-usap kasi sa psychologist o sa psychiatrist sa Pinas, iisipin, baliw ka agad yung may ganun pa rin ano eh. Ano man tawag doon? Stigma, ganun, no? Stigma. stigma. May ganun pa rin stigma. So, uh, I would I would ad uh, advise everybody na put your services online. Siguro that's, that's part of the new normal. Kagaya nga po nung sinabi ni uh, Ma'am Ali na inaaral talaga niya yung online din ngayon. No, lahat naman tayo eh. Because we have to adjust. The only way to survive, di ba sabi ko, right now, it's survival. How will you survive? It's not how much you will earn. How will you survive your daily day expenses? How will we survive in what we do? Tama ka nga, minamali tayo, parati may stigma. But believe it or not, mataas na ngayon mental health case natin, especially because of this pandemic. And hello, yes. let me say to you, all these psychiatrists, psychologists, and psychometricians, I'm so blessed and I'm so thankful. Nasinabi ko din kay Christian, it's not the letters after your name that counts. It's what you do in helping people that matters. So live a life that matters, not live a life that counts. Wow, Ma'am Ali, I ha also have a question here from the jail BJMP nag personal message po sa akin kasi po is working there and is actually uh, tuned in ang question po niya ngayon daw po naka lockdown ang lahat ng jails nationwide yung mga kasama kong assigned sa jail na jail officers ay magdadalawang buwan nang hindi nakakauwi dahil bawal din silang lumabas ng kulungan and precautionary measures yun ng agency paano ko po pwedeng matulungan ng aking mga kasamahan lalo na at marami sa mga kasamahan ko ay uwi-uwi na dahil misa nila yung pamilya nila at yung iba ay nagsisimula ng makaramdam ng depression. 
uh, you cannot be together because of the social distancing. But if you can talk to one another through text, through Viber, through personal message, kamustahin nyo. Huwag natin sabihin, okay na, alam na niya. Always find the time. Find the time to ask a stranger or someone or a friend, how are you today? Kasi yun, how are you today? Kamusta ka? Goes a long, long way. Nandyan yun malalaman nila. Nandyan na nga yung feeling, uh, uwi-uwi na nga sila eh. Nandyan na nga yung feeling yung loneliness nila eh. Nandyan yung feeling ng longing nila. Why? Because wala silang kasama na nagmamahal sa kanila doon. Nobody is there. Nobody is there to care for you, not like their family. Natural, mamiss nila family nila, mahal nila. Oo. But again, going back, sa, sa workplace ba, meron bang tao nagkikare sa kanila? Importante, you spend, uh, you you find time to say, kamusta ka pare? Kamusta ka? Alam ko, malungkot ka. Malungkot din ako. Pwede tayo mag-usap. If you want to talk, then talk. But you know, don't forget the social distancing and the mask and using the alcohol. Say hello to one another. We can always be physically distant from one another. But no, we should not be emotionally disconnected with one another. That's not an excuse. So if I were you, thank you for your caring heart. Thank you. Ah. Find the time to connect and ask how they are doing. Marami kang malalaman just by asking, kamusta ka na, friend? Oh, very practical siya, ma'am. No? Another question, ma'am. Sorry. We have here from Dole. Nag-message din sa atin. Personal <gasps> message. From Dole. Kasi uh, ang question po niya is, Paano daw po i-deal yung trauma caused by work in light of COVID situation? For example po, yung mga frontliners po natin. Ano hmm. po yung practical? Ano po natin sa kanila? Tips? Uh, I'm working with a group, okay? The frontliners. Because marami din mi sila. And because, di ba, alam mo naman, Christian, uh, ang denominator nila is because they are stressed from their workplace. So, ang ginawa ko, you can maybe try to have uh, at least Not more, not more than eight. Eight persons do it group therapy so they can bring out their their fear, their anger, their anxiety. They can discuss it in a safe place with people listening to them and giving them input. Ang importante lang naman talaga eh, maring mapakinggan sila, let them understand that they are not alone, and give them the support that they need. Number one naman talaga ang support kailangan emotional support. Eh. So if I were them, group them, you know, with people and then. Ang dami naman sa government natin, hindi ba? MC, and go, everybody go in uh, who can help. Uh, yung mga gusto magtulong, you can help. You can help one another. Pag ako, do group therapy. So that they will bring out their fear, they can discuss their anger, at lahat na in a safe situation. Do group therapy pag ako. Schedule group therapy. Sir MC? Meron pong, ma'am, okay, may marami pa tayong time. Okay lang po kayo. <laughs> okay lang naman. <laughs> And, ma'am, meron pong isang question here na uh, na struck po ako. Na gusto ko po sana itanong sa inyo. How will psychology, this is from Rodolfo De, uh, David, how will psychology help to heal a world that has been forced to change beyond what we imagine? Ang grabe, ma'am, yung naging adjustment kasi talaga ng lahat ngayon. Ay, Kuya, Kuya Pong. <laughs> And... <laughs> Oh, I see. And how can psychological practice support the emerging world post-coronavirus? So, paano tayo, ma'am? Anong role natin sa mundo after this uh, pandemic? So, post-COVID. Post-COVID, di ba? Post-COVID season. As a psychologist, we're supposed to be people helper. Di ba? Helper. How can we be people helper if we are not healthy ourselves? Number one, as psychologists, or psych- we can, we help to help ourselves, di ba? So that we will be able to help heal the world. How can we heal the world? We cannot heal the world. Healing the world is a conscious effort between you, me, and everyone together. The carpenters, the garbage collectors, the taxi drivers, di ba? The pastor, the preacher, the priest, the nuns, the teachers, everybody come together. This is how we heal the world. It's not only by psychologists. We can always be here to help you when you needed someone to, uh, to someone who will listen to you, someone who will guide you, someone who will help you with your uh, issues about mental health. But again, it's an effort of everyone to help heal the world. Para sa akin, and how can psychological practice support the emerging world post coronavirus? 
by putting into practice what we have learned. So lahat tayo, gaya ng sinabi ko, it's not the alphabets or the letters after our name. We are here to help people. We are here to support them. We should not walk in front of our client. We should never walk at the back of our client. We should always walk side by side with our client. Not one step ahead of them, not one step uh, at the back, but as a psychologist, we help our client by walking side by side. Ikaw at ako. Hindi ako ang magdaling. Thank you for that, ma'am. Galing doon, ma'am. Tama. <laughs> ma'am, may, may, may relevant question po tayo ngayon na sobrang ganda rin po. This is from uh, Sir Salvador of uh, NU. So, ang question, ma'am, is new normal na ang social media for all ages this COVID season, di ba? Lahat naman na sa social media na trolling is getting normal on social media. Trolling is also bullying and it is mm-hmm. getting normal parang ang daling magbato ng ng hate speech eh, sa mga tao mm-hmm. no i hate to say that trolling and bullying is getting normal question eto mam yung question niya should we stand up and speak up against trolling bullying on facebook uh ang galing ah mc i like it uh let me share something i like watching game of thrones eh. and there's something i like what they said eh. the lion never loses sleep over sheep So you know what? Pag sasagutin yeah. yung mga trolls na yan, <laughs> kikita siya. Yeah. If you give a comment, a like or dislike or an angry face, kikita din siya. Why do I want them to earn? ba? Diba? We are here as people helpers. We are not to encourage those people who bully other people in whatever professions they are. ba? Diba? So para sa akin yung mga ganyan, huwag nyo i-like, huwag nyo i-dislike, huwag nyo pansinin. Pag wala kayong reaction, wala silang kikitain. So let them be. Ignore them. Eventually, they will die a natural death. At saka uh, parang huwag na natin gamitin yung social media natin for ano, yeah. no, for putting yeah, in yeah, yeah. Toxi, toxic, uh, toxicity, ano bang term doon? Parang uh-huh. gano'n. Use our social media to help others. Ako, I stalk people. Eh, so to talk, I stalk people on Facebook because I watch for posts of people that I can feel that they are sad. And if they are sad, I go right away directly to them. Friend, how are you today? Use it to what is good. Don't do it Don't do it to hurt other people. Don't do it to post what you want to post. Do it to help others. I'm a stalker. Oh, lahat kayo na sa Facebook, I'm a stalker. <laughs> Because once I see you post something that I feel there is a need for me to go in, I will personally go into and message you and say, friend, how are you doing today? Or how may na. I help you? Because we should ma'am, use it to what's good. Maraming kinilig sa reference mo, ma'am, ng Game of Thrones, ha? So, <laughs> sila, si sila Pauline, the lion never sila. loses sleep over Sila Pauline, nag-heart-heart sila dyan. Oh, I love the reference. Marami, maraming mga. Mukhang mga nagpuyat to ng Netflix saka mga HBO ngayong, uh, ngayong quarantine. Ay, ay, teka lang, ha? matagal na yan, ha? Matagal na yan. <laughs> re-watch, re-watch siguro nila mga sa HBO. <laughs> yung mga crash landing, matagal na, mga two weeks ko na natapos yan. Bago na, right? <laughs> oh, di ba? Tapos na. Find time to yeah. do other things, di ba? Uh, magpa-plug in lang po pala ako, guys. Uh, for those of you na nawalan po ng kuryente because of the typhoon, you can still watch this. Uh, upload after po nung session na to, it will be uploaded at the Filipino Psychometricians Group and all the materials will be provided there in the page. Okay. Yeah. Tapos i-upload ko rin po to sa aking YouTube channel para uh, sa mga naka-free YouTube naman, yung mga wala na silang regular load, pwede nyo panoorin po doon sa ating YouTube channel. Anong MC Melor po. MC Melor. Yeah, nasa, nasa pangalan ko po para i-search nyo lang. Uh, ma'am, uh, may isa pa akong question. Sorry, ma'am. From oh, National Teachers College. So, a- ano po siya? Gui- head po siya ng guidance doon? Si, I think I may know. Oh, sige. Apo, you may. Sabi po niya, how do we implement our guidance program and structure uh, yung the physical guidance office in this time of new normal? So, may guidelines na po ba aside from on- online counseling? let's say classes resume, shall we still proceed to face-to-face counseling? Paano po yung magiging setup ng mga guidance offices? Uh, right now, I have no idea. Maski, kami, maski tayo sa PAP, hmm. hello Ron, 
wala pa masyado kung alam na guidelines diyan. Maybe siguro nga gaya nga sabi ng government, we will take one step at a time. Uh, we will have definitely we will be making adjustments. I know PAP is already making some adjustments. So I'm sure sa PGCA they're also going to make some adjustments on how to go about it din. Ako din I don't know. I'm waiting excitedly waiting. But in the meantime of excitedly waiting, I'm also reading things, reading books on how other countries do it because uh, I myself is very excited to learn what will happen in the coming days. So, thank you, ma'am. Kuya MC, may mga questions pa po. Ang dami. <laughs> Madami tayong questions, ma'am. Mukhang yeah. buwas tayo matatapos dito. <laughs> Hindi kasi siyempre, marami talagang uncertainty nowadays. And it's a good thing na we shed light, especially nandiyan si Ma'am Ali, uh, to shed light dito sa ating mga dark times, di ba? Nobody expected this. Wala pong nag-expect na ito kasi bigla ito sa buhay natin. And transition talaga lahat. Ma'am, siguro pinaka, pinaka question ko, ako ma'am personal pong question na to, madaya kayong mga nagko-comment, puro kayo lang nagtatanong. Ako naman. <laughs> Dami mo mga fans, nakikita ko. <laughs> eh, ma'am. Uh, personal question ko, ma'am. Since nga nagkaroon na po ng, ng shift, no? Ng, ng, ng shift sa sa social relationship, sa lahat, ma'am. Yeah, may mga social distancing na tayo. What is the best way siguro, ma'am, to do sa ating sarili pagka pinalaya na tayo ulit? Kung mag, pag, magtapos na tong lockdown period. Kung babalik ka tayo sa normal natin. Kasi ma'am, syempre, biglaan na nasanay na, parang ngayon, since two months na siya, nasanay na yung mga tao na nasa bahay, nasanay na yung mga tao na hawak nila yung oras nila and everything. Tapos biglang babalik na naman sa work, may experience na naman yung traffic, yung stress and everything. Ano ma'am yung pinakamagandang parang simulang steps pag binalik na sa atin yung kalayaan natin, hindi <laughs> yung, yung tapos yung quarantine? Parang naalala ko yan ang seminar ko sa isang group. Anyway, you know, tayo ang hilig-hilig natin ng long vacations, di ba? Sana mga five days of vacation. Ngayon, binigyan na tayong buwan na vacation, di ba? So definitely, yung mga alaman-laman natin, pagpagin natin, tulog pa yan, di ba? So if I were you, when you need to go back to work after all of this, hinay-hinay lang. Parati naman sinasabi nila ng at, at, sa Department of Health, ng lahat ng mayor, di ba? Ano sabi ni Mayor Vico? Hinay-hinay lang. Dahan-dahan lang. Huwag tayo magmadali. Kasi nandiyan pa yung threat ng, ng virus. Nandaan natin. So dahan-dahan always be watchful, social distancing, wash your hands, alcohol. But you know, if you, after all of the social distancing, when you go back to work and you still feel na hindi ka pa nakaka-adjust, take time out. Go out muna. Go out muna. Take a few minutes. Hindi ko sinabi na lumabas ka, na mamasyag ka. Hindi. Kung hindi ka nakaka-adjust pa, take a few minutes out. Maybe you can go out. Uh, just look up in the sky or drink some water. ba? Do not force yourself na, dyan ako, mahirap eh. Magiging bugno din ka, magiging mainitin ang ulo ka eh. Stand up. Don't just sit on your chair. Stand up. Instead na utusan mo yung messenger na mag-photocopy, ikaw tumayo. Do some movements para dahan-dahan masanay ulit yung katawan mo na magtrabaho ulit sa sitwasyon mo. Don't just say, ito na na, nako, tinatamad na naman ako. When you start thinking of it like that in the morning, talagang tatamarin ka. So if you feel it, if naramdaman mo na, wala ako, hindi ako nakafocus, ground. Be mindful of what you're doing. Be mindful of the coffee you're drinking. Be mindful of the water you're drinking. Be mindful of the food you're drinking. That way, you will slowly go back to your regular routine. Alam mo lang, huwag imahay, nako, ayoko. Take away the complaint. But, pour more appreciation than complaint into your cup during the morning. Siguro mong dapat binibilang natin yun, ano? Hindi, yung... <laughs> totoo. Yung conscious ka talaga na yes. meron, kang, meron kang journal siguro na gratefulness dapat... journal. Yes. Parang ganun, ma'am. Yes. Yes. yes, because you have to always be th- you should always say thank you because you still have your job. Dahil paglabas nito at lahat, maraming mawawalan trabaho. If you still have a job, be thankful. Be thankful whatever for whatever little that you have. Sasabihin, oh, may job ka nga, pero babawasan sweldo mo. Be thankful you still have salary. Be thankful you still have a job. Don't say, I'm going to look for a, a high-paying job. Remember, right now, 
the word is survive. We have to survive. It's not earning now. It's how do I survive? Remember, we have extra expenses right now. So unlike before. So dapat makasurvive lang tayo. Dahan-dahan slowly until maging normal na lahat. Then that is when you start to be relaxed. But right now, huwag muna. Ang mga party-party, huwag muna. Maskin yeah. na-lift na yung bang area ng liquor ban, huwag muna, hinay-hinay. Do not invite people first to your house. Do not go to their house as well. Right now, dahan-dahan lang. Let, you know, as we respect ourselves, we also respect other people. Tama. Wow. May nag-personal message po sa akin. Mga tatlo na sila. They're asking for another round daw ng ganitong session. So, <laughs> so ayan, for consideration po natin and depende po. But we would like to really have another session and we will check also with our resources, limited resources. Wala po kaming bayad dito and lahat po ito ay community work. This is our contribution for this, this season po. So, yeah. Pero I guess uh, nagpa-plano po kami ni Christian ma'am ng ano eh, ng uh, another, parang part 2 na ito if mabibigyan nyo po kami ng oras. Yeah. <laughs> part of what we do diba, as psychologists is to help people. It's not just being accredited. It's not just being given the, given the letters after our name. Part of what we do, part of what we should do is not to take care of our own career, of our own self. But learn also as we take care of ourselves, we should also learn how to take care of other people. That's what we should do, diba? As people helper, Christian. Yes, ma'am. Sir MC, Kuya MC, counseling. Saka totoo, to, to, totoo po, no? Oo, totoo oo. po yun. Na, Patindi yan. Maganda po na, ano, maganda po na since new normal nga, pwede nyo pong masundan yung ilan sa mga turo. Ipa-plug ko ma'am yung YouTube uh, channel ng, ano, ng Happy, Happy Box. Ah, or... Happy Box Media, Yes! You know, if you have time, please subscribe so, and go to... Diba, natatawa ka? Diba? <laughs> please, if you have the time, okay, please do subscribe and join us sa uh, aming YouTube na Happy Box Media. Ang title ng YouTube namin is Gabay Ali. Just go there, subscribe, and we have new uh, videos coming out. We just shot kanina. So, enjoy mo, everyone. Ang iba-ibang hairstyle niyo doon. Diba? Ang galing. Ah, <laughs> ang magaling diyan si Rhea, yung makeup artist. Kung ano nang pinagagawa niya sa akin siya, yung siya at saka si Inang. Pero ako, hindi ako mahilig sa makeup. Thankful ako pinaganda nila ako. Yan. Natuwa ka? Ako. Yes, Next time, tatanungin ko na. Sina. Oh, ma'am, no? Instead, instead na nanonood sila ng kung ano-anong uh, mga bad news, Uh, panoorin na lang nila yung mga YouTube channel natin at least ma- mas marami pa po silang matututunan. Mas yeah, marami pa silang salamat. Uh, ano, marami silang ma- mapupulot magiging uh, makakatulong sa kanila this season. So, sobrang privilege namin ma'am na meron tayong ganito. Dami ah. Hanggang ngayon ma'am, 400 plus yung nanonood. Talagang na uh, yung ano, yung crowd. natin yung population natin sa ano, social media. Yes. Kaya lang po nabawasan kasi nag-brown out po sa ibang places and mahina po yung internet. Oh, As you can see your cellphone, nag-notify po si NDRRMC. Oo, oh, right? kanina so, po. So since nag-notify po siya, yung iba pong mga places, wala na pong kuryente, walang signal. But one good thing about this is that they can still go back sa Filipino psychometricians. They can watch it uh, anytime at their convenience. Di ba, Kuya MC? Yes. And they can still watch it and yun. They can also download the resources that we will be putting there. So, ma'am, may, may, may tanong ma'am si Lisa Lumaban. Sabi niya po, is it possible ma'am Ali to invite you as our speaker after the COVID <laughs> period in behalf of uh, Manila Guild teachers and counselors? Ito ng mga sabahan ng mga ano, teachers and counselors. counselors. From PNU ata ito, Kuya MC eh. Mukha, mukhang mga PNU ito mga to. Majority sa kanila. Alam nyo, uh, yeah, as long as I'm di, uh, I'm not busy, I'm free, why not? Oo, ako, oh, oh, let's, oo, oh, oh, ako eh. Kasi, uh, if this is the way to share how we can care for one another, why not? Why not? Diba? Kaya nga ako napupunta kung saan na bundok eh. Because so, uh, it's true, it's true. Kung sa bundok ko ka pupunta. Because sometimes there are so many areas that are very, very poor. They cannot afford to hire a psychologist for a talk. 
And I will tell them, don't hire me, just let my driver eat. And that's to me is okay. Wow. Kasi importante, we can reach out to them. Eh. That's how we show them who we are. Diba? To reach out to them. Sa so, yes, WD, ma'am, need namin. <laughs> Sinasabi ko nga, ang lagi ko sinasabi ko... Ang galing si Christian at si Adele nandiyan. Ang gagaling nila. <laughs> Lagi ko siya sabi dyan, ma'am, sa, sa ganyang aspeto, pagbayarin ang kayang magbayad at uh, bigyan ng libreng serbisyo ang mga hindi kayang magbayad, di ba? Kasi hindi yes. <laughs> man natin so, pwedeng ipagdamot yung ating uh, natutunan dahil binigay lang din ito ng Panginoon. So, share din natin. So, sa mga kayang magbayad, magbayad sila. Sa mga hindi kayang magbayad, pwede naman. Socialized. <laughs> oh, di ba? Ganun lang, ganun lang naman eh. So yun ma'am, dami talagang ano, na nag-look forward. Since libre po itong ating uh, webinar, siguro yun lang yung may hiling namin. Uh, please like and follow yung mga YouTube channels namin, yung mga pages. Itong, tapos supportahan nyo pa yung Filipino Psychometricians na page natin. Yes. Para padamihin pa natin kasi marami talaga makakapulot dito. Ang dami, ang dami mga students na nag-take up ng psychology ngayon. Ang dami mga... Actually, iba-iba eh. Mga, nakikita ko po yung mga profiles natin. May mga registered psychometricians na, registered psychologists na. So, ang dami po. Sa mga students... Oh, sa mga students... Psych- psychometrician natin, don't forget to, ano ha, to be members ng PAP kasi you will renew you also your license. Oo. TPD. And you know, sa PAP talaga, they're doing their very best also. Or to do what's best for all of us. So don't forget, because it's very important. We are part of a flock, and I saw how our president is doing everything he can to see to it that he uh, that we have the best. So give us time, talaga. The, uh, Ron is doing a very nice job, and the board members, fantastic. So don't forget to be members, ha? Because sayang pag magreview kayo, magbabayad pa kayo ng penalty. Do it the right way, na, de ba na? Yes, right na. Tama. Tsaka sa mga sudyante, uh, maging active kayo sa PAPJA. Kung mayroong PAPJA sa mga schools ninyo. Yes. <laughs> Sobra. Pasko data na yun. Oo. Oh, yun nga lang. Yeah. The, the board, the PAP, uh, the board members uh, to, to consideration yung health ng latin, natin Tambra. lahat. At gusto nila na maging safe tayo. So they, uh, they canceled it. PAPJA, see you. <laughs> si Eros, no? student Shout ko yung guwapong nakaka-up. Wow. Oo, oh, ah, nakita ko. Ah, <laughs> teacher ko ng high school. Fans. Ang oh, teacher ng high school. Yeah. Also, guys. Si Sarching uh, yan. Sarching. Shout out sa'yo. <laughs> guys, uh, this is open uh, for everyone. Kahit ano pa yung background nyo, uh, hindi siya sobrang exclusive sa psych. But majority of the members here are psychologists. G majors, psychologists, psychometrician, students in psychology or you might interest in psychology. So please feel free to invite them. So I think ito yung isa sa mga group na pinakamalaki po na numbers. We are actually sa population, yes, ng mga population 42,000, di ba? Sa group po na ito, Filipino psychometricians, 42,000. Uh, mga members. So marami. Marami po tayong may Okay, kaya may question pa po ba? Baka meron tayong nakalimutan na uh, check ko yung... Ma, meron kasi kami yung prepare na ano, 100 questions para sa'yo. <laughs> Charot lang. Tandaan mo, sanay ako sa talk show. <laughs> yeah, no? Totoo, totoo, totoo. Wow, so, ako ako magbabasa. Sabi niya, thank you Mr. Poging MC for reading my comments. <laughs> ah! Ako naman taga-basa ngayon. I love it, diba? Ayan. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> At babae yan nagsilat. <laughs> Ayan ako na ba? Ano ma'am, lahat tayo wapot magaganda. Ayan. I love it. Trisha, thank you. Ah. Thank you very much for this webinar. It's indeed very helpful, especially during this time. Arriba, psikolohya. Go, diba? I think thank may question Trisha. po. Si Miss Pauline, having group therapy or psychosocial processing in a workplace must be mandatory po ba? Or it should be the will of the workers to attend the psychosocial support? Uh, kasi sa akin, they signed up eh. So, oh. para sa akin, hindi dapat natin pinipili. You know, this is given. Okay, this service is provided. But it does not mean since we provide it, we are forcing people to attend. 
they have all the right to join or not to join, especially in a group process where if the topic is very heavy, the first few weeks, I expect the like, people to be dropping out or not joining. So oh. that's why it's very important in a group therapy. We should have our rules before we start the group therapy. Oh, and dito yung ethics, ma'am, no? <laughs> oh, oh. Freedom from coercion and a lot of stuff. Huwag daw pilitin yung ayaw, ma'am. <laughs> Baka pumayag. <laughs> so hi dun sa mga classmate ko sa UP, uh, Department of Psychology, to our professors there, sa IRIS, Manila, and sa... Uh, NTC, National Teachers College, also. Shout out. Di ka busy, Christian. <laughs> Meron nanonood ma'am from uh, South Korea. BNU one din po to si Jessica Abok. Hello. Hello, wow. Jessica. Oh. Sa mga opo Anyo pa natin. Anyo nga sa'yo. Anyo nga sa'yo. Oh, Ang laban hello. na to. Oh. Si ma'am napanood na yung crash landing on yung mga kompleto na yata. Oh. <laughs> The monarch na eh. <laughs> Updated, you know, updated. Because you have to, there are things that, you know, it, it does not interest you, but you have to learn because sometimes your client will be talking about it. So, alam mo naman, kinakausap ka, ha? ha? Eh, ganun. So, you have to F4 learn. F4 pa rin yung alam mo, ma'am. F4 pa rin. Ah, hindi na. Monarch lang, ha? Diba? Diba? Hindi. Oh, bago yan? Hindi ka updated. F4 pa rin, no? Daming si pa rin. Ma'am, speaking of uh, pagiging updated, uh, what, as a psychologist, Uh, ano mamin pwede natin expect na magiging new sa mga behavior ng mga tao after po natin magkaroon ng GCQ o pagka nag-GCQ na pagka bumalik na sa semi-normal yung mga tao ano kaya yung magiging behavior nila o behavior ng, ng madla uh, right now I really don't know but I was thinking nandyan yun medyo hindi na sila mainipin sluggish sila kasi sanay na sila, di ba? Nandiyan yun, you have to again find the motivating factor again for them. Kasi for so many months, ganun na sila, di ba? But I can also see some behaviors wherein anger is very, very strong. Nandiyan yung galit. Nandiyan, nandiyan yung anxiety as well. So, different, iba-iba ang dating sa mga tao. Eh. So, well, I expect nothing, but I will be willing to deal with something. Wow. Galing nun, ma'am. Oh, may nag-question pa, ma'am. Ano pong K-drama ang marirecommend ko, Kali, during this pandemic? <laughs> K-drama? Manood kayo ng The Monarch. <laughs> It's good. Uh, kasi ay, mahilig ako kung ano-ano pinaghiligan ko. But you know, you can always watch, watch what you want. But see to it that you don't, you know, live that kind of a life. It's only temporary. Remember, all of these are temporary because there's still the transition time that we're going to face. So always put it in your mind, temporary lang ito. Saka sa mga nanonood siguro ng mga movies sa uh, Netflix and every everything, uh, mga Christian movies, maganda. Uh, maraming magandang Christian movies na available para at least ano, makagaan sa ating pakiramdam. Yes, yes. And we should also be aware of our triggers, di ba? Kaya yung iba pong movies can trigger something or some memories. <laughs> yung iba kasi mo ang ginawa ano eh. You have to be very careful what you watch or what you read or what you believe. Yung ginawa ng iba mo ano eh. Stay grounded. Nanood ng ano, nanood ng mga tungkol sa pandemic, tungkol sa mga virus. Oh, di lalo silang sa, natakot. Sa mga zombie, kaya <laughs> sobrang silang natakot eh. Yeah. Very, very important. You know, our mind is a very, very important part. Kaya nga nilagyan ni Lord yan sa taas. Eh. Ito siya, di ba? So we don't put trash. We don't uh, uh, we don't allow trash to go in. We don't consciously put trash inside our mind. Exercise our mind and do good things. Di ba? I have a choice. Will I be angry with you or will I not be? Or, or I can let it go. Kung mali na bagay at di naman ako kailangan magalit, di wag na. Kung magagalit ako, bukas na lang ako magalit kasi mas okay na bukas na ako magalit, hindi na ako masyadong galit. Di ba? If you always have a choice, what do you want to do? Are the things you can, uh, are, are you going to cry over something that you have no control of? Of course not. I'm a tiger. Di ba? So, why do you lose sleep over a sheep? Always think about things before you react because it's important dahil tao tayo eh. Kaya nga tayo binigyan ng Diyos ng 
pag-iisip. Tama. So iwasan po natin ang lagyan ng basura ang ating mga isipan, ang ating mga So umiwas po tayo sa ganyan. Sabi ni Darwin, sobrang saya daw ng webinar na 'to. <laughs> Thank you, Sir Darwin. Kasama ba naman natin si Ma'am Ali? Akala ko po nung una sobrang seryoso si Ma'am pero Oo, kasi sa mga picture ni Ma'am Sano eh, pag binagbabasa ng letter, 'di ba? Pag nagsumasagot ng ano, talagang ano <laughs> yung yung sila <laughs> Kung alam nila habang nag nagano nagsisampol kami nagdudulingduling ano kung ba diba? you, you, you have to learn to laugh at yourself because that's the best thing you can do for yourself laugh at yourself masaya masaya yun ama no wag masyadong seryoso sa sa sarili galing mm-hmm. galing dahil... mama ano pong marerecommend yung books to read siguro uh, nag question na kasi kanina yung movies so some some of our viewers naman mahilig naman sila magbasa ng libro Is there some books na would you recommend ngayong panahon yes, ng pandemic? Yes, let me get it. I'll get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Ganda ng tanong ko, ha? Hindi <laughs> <laughs> kasi hindi ako nanonood ng movie uh, habang wala si ma'am. Hindi kasi ako nanonood ng movies. Hindi masyado. So, mas gusto ko nagbabasa ng libro. This is a nice book I like here. Ayan. This is so, a good book I like. Though. Eh, nakita ko maraming libro, eh. Ito si Colleen, ano to, eh. Paras ko ng trip to, eh. May ilig sa kape, may ilig sa libro. Friend ko na rin to sa Facebook. <laughs> Matagal na. Okay. It's my favorite book. Si Lubang Luma na siya. Wow. So Lubang Luma. And with all the markings, mga ganun. My favorite book. So heavy, but now I have it in my phone. On my phone. Okay. The next book I like when I was in college pa is this book. The Courage to Heal. It's a very, very, look, it's a very, very old book. I kept it. Ma'am, sino pong author niya, ma'am? Si Ellen Bass. Ellen Bass. And the other book about abnormal psychologies in my life. Lumang book na ito, but I love it. Puro self-help, yung maganda. The title is, ah, the author. Ellen Bass. Nolan Hiksima. Ah, Ellen Bass. Wow. Luma na yan. Elola na ako. So, there are so many books <laughs> pa here. Oh, diba? But, uh, yun na. Wow. Kaleng, no? Maganda rin, ma'am, ano? Uh, yes. Siguro, dahil nga, ano ako, lagi ako sa positive psychology, sa mga hindi pa nakakabasa ng, ano, ng The Power of Positive Thinking ni Norman Vincent Peale. Ah, oo, oh, yeah, yeah. Magaling na psychologist din po yun. This is a nice book, I'll get. <laughs> Nabasa na tayo ng pop-up. Ano? Ano? <laughs> Kasi luma na, eh, magagaling din sa pande ko sa ayan na, diba? Clinical and forensic interviewing to children and families. Yeah. Uh, oh. By Jerome Sattler. Ayan. Napapanahon. Sarap basahin. Luma na yan. <laughs> Kung I also have a popular <laughs> personality. Ah, ano? <laughs> <laughs> diba? Masarap na naman yeah. talaga eh, when you read. And that's the thing I like. Yes. So, meron pa bang mga questions, Kuya MC? Gusto lang po namin linawin kasi nag-comment si GDZ. Sabi niya, pa-replay po nitong webinar. Again, uh, this will be uploaded. Right after this, this will be uploaded dito sa Filipino Psychometricians and it will be available din sa YouTube channel ko po. So, yan. Pwede nyo pong paulit-ulitin na mapanood para matutunan nyo ng paulit-ulit yung ating uh, lecture from Dr. G. Ops, baka mapagkamalan ako nito. Hindi pa ako PhD degree holder. Ayun so, Lilian G. Oh, mahirap na. Uh-huh. Advance ako, ma'am. Advance ako. <laughs> Ay, salamat, salamat. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. And thank you for allowing me to correct you, ha? Thank you, ha? Yes, ma'am. Ayun. Sabi niya, ano nakakawala daw, ito daw, ito daw webinar na to, nakakawala daw ng pandemic, pandemic talks. talks. Sabi, <laughs> ni, sabi ni Recto. Ayan, uh, Power of Now ni Eckhart yes. Tolle. Oh, mag- It's a yeah, very nice book. Very, I read it already when I was in college. 
Wow. Uh, isa yan sa mga favorite ko, Power of Now. Uh, mababang- kung papanoorin nyo po yung webinar ko nung una, saka kanina lagi ko po nababanggit yung salitang Power of Now. So it's really, it's really a good book. Yeah. So yun, uh, I guess, okay tayo for tonight. Yes. Grabe ang haba ng ano natin. Grabe ang daming ano. ano. <laughs> oh, oh. I think this is one of the longest webinar that we've conducted Totoo sa Filipino Psychometricians. <laughs> Ay wait, Actually, meron ako nababasa yun dito. We're lucky and blessed tonight to have Miss Ali and two guapos. And... <laughs> wow, si Kuya MC. <laughs> Salamat po. Thank you very much po for that wonderful compliment. And yeah. Nakakatuwa lang po kasi uh, I know Ma'am Ali and, and Kuya MC have different theoretical orientation. So ako po ay existential. Yung aking pong orientation is more of meaning, therapy. So finding meaning of in suffering, you know that, Kuya MC. So uh, uh, yung perspective ko naman po is about being authentic and accepting responsibility for the situation that that is happening to yourself. So, medyo ano siya. <laughs> parang ini-embrace niya din yung negativity, you need to accept it. So, parang may acceptance part din siya. But then nakakatuwa din yung positive side. It, it's really helpful, very timely, very applicable sa business and everything. Si Ma'am Ali is Ma'am, ano po ba ang inyong theoretical orientation? Cognitive Hello. PBT? Lahat. <laughs> Oo. Oh, wala. <laughs> Integrity bata si ma'am eh. So she can do it. Uh-huh. Yeah. Kasi when we deal with children, hindi naman kami directive. Tama. So, holistic ma'am. Siguro holistic approach. Should I say. <laughs> Depende sa pangangailangan ng pagkakataon. Ma'am, nakakatawa yung mga comments ma'am. <laughs> Oo oh, nga. Ito daw po ma'am ang webinar na may puso. Wow. <laughs> Maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. This would not have been possible kung hindi kayo lahat nandito. Thank you to the two very handsome MCs. It's true. And I'm so thankful sa inyong lahat for joining us. I know you it, you have to take your time to be with us and allowing us to be with you. Maraming salamat. It's really an honor for me. Thank you so much din po sa lahat ng mga nanood, sa lahat ng mga nagstay, sa lahat ng mga nandiyan nung simula hanggang ngayon na nandiyan pa rin at sa mga nawala ng kuryente at signal. Salamat po. So, again, we 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 will have more of this uh, in the coming days kasi mas kailangan natin 'to. Mas maraming uh, matutulungan tong mga ganito. So, again, maraming maraming salamat po. Of course, kay Christian for organizing and uh, coming up with this. Na, na enjoy you. po namin. I'm Good sure like enjoy din si si Ma'am Ali for for tonight. Oo oh, naman. <laughs> Salamat sa inyo. I'm so happy. Abangan daw nila yung part 2. Aabangan pa nila yung part 2 natin. <laughs> so, I hope that you are also free din. Actually, may evaluation form po, may evaluation doon. I think he, uh, we already posted it. Please answer so that we can improve your mm-hmm. webinar experience. We will be uploading the presentations here also. Yeah. So Thank again, ulitin ko po, uh, sa mga tatanong, if they can have a copy nung lecture kanina ni ma'am, yes, you may. Tapos tungkol sa video, ma-upload po to sa Filipino Psychomusicians and sa YouTube channel po na meron po ako. So yan, so, ma-re-rewatch and ma-re-read nyo po yung PowerPoint presentation. So more blessings to everybody. Have a good night. And uh, di ko alam paano tatapusin to Parang ayaw akong tapusin eh. <laughs> Oo nga, ang dami pang sinasa. Ang dami pa nilang ano, oh, <laughs> comments and everything. And we're so privileged po then uh, mag-speak in front of you kahit sa computer and sa phone screen nyo. And yun. Bye everyone. I love you. Remember, you we'll always love one another and care for one another. Physical distancing is not emotional distancing. I love you. Bye-bye. All right. Siguro, right, ma'am, yeah. uh, bigla na I lang itong makawala. Na. I'll, post na, I'll start posting it to you na, no? <laughs> tell, me, tell me how I can post it to you, okay? Ah, bye. All right. So have a good night, everybody. Bye. Bye-bye. Stay safe. Bye-bye.